So here we are. We're going to go back in time a little bit this time. I'm not going to play a retro game on the Super Nintendo or any console. I'm actually going to show you guys a game I used to play back in the day on the PC. But it was really hard to do because I had to find a virtualization emulator to do Windows XP because it wouldn't play on a 64-bit system. For this, I used VMware, as you can tell, because a little bit, it was a little bit better than Oracle Box, even though both are free. Oracle Box did not have good sound and video quality. It was very choppy, so, you know, this is what we ended up with. And it actually is, it works pretty well. As you can tell, you know, it takes a little bit to start up, but once it does, it's pretty good. So, yes, now it's started up, and you see the familiar Windows XP desktop that some people may loathe or may enjoy. I don't know. It brought me back some memories back in the day. I remember having a lot of problems, but also liked it a lot better than the systems they have nowadays. I don't, I don't know really why. I mean, it's just because the one, maybe it's the one I, I did a lot of, uh, you know, work on back when I was in high, uh, college. I'm not sure. Anyway, so as you can tell, I'm using VMware with a special uh, function called Unity, which basically puts a little secondary start menu for your guest operating system on your desktop. And with that, I can start up this retro game. This game I actually stole from the library back in the day, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I did return it, I'm not sure. But the simple thing is that it just this game is supposed to be a simulator for driver's education. But the problem being is that there's a lot of things that were wrong with it that weren't programmed well with. It, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to give you guys a rundown of what actually, what the, the gist of the game is and why this kind of is one of those hidden gems that I kind of, you know, liked a lot. That's why I wanted to get it back. I actually had to download the ISO for this, so... As you can tell, it actually saved my old profile. I didn't uh, put this in. This was actually from back in the day. It says I'm 24 years old still. <laughs> I wish. Either way, when you sign in, you'll see all the different, like, you know, Driving lessons you can do. Task. They've got, you know, stop sign safety and everything like that. And they've actually got a drunk driving As you um, begin drive lesson, which I'll show you guys you drive a vehicle. later. It's actually a pretty, Driving pretty funny a simulation, task. but... I don't know if it'll really make a difference because you guys can't tell drivers. what's going on. Either way, when go alcohol, back to the main menu and I'm going to show you guys where the secret is. If you go to preview and free drive, this is where the real magic happens. You don't really have to follow any rules. Alright, so we're starting up this and game and first I want to stop on notice here because they actually make you stop and actually start and do the seat belt buckle and the emergency brake all at the beginning. You cannot start the actual game if you don't Take the, the seatbelt, put it on, or this little light bulb turns off, and then turn the e-brake off. And on top of it, you have to actually hit the back button like you're touching the brake pedal and turn it into drive. Take that little stick and put it into the drive mode. I don't know why. And on top of that, it, it's, it give, he gives you crap if you don't do it. Here's a few clips from that. I just docked you 30 points for not buckling up. So we're just going to take off like you normally would play a game and just take off at whatever speed. And as you can tell, he's already bitching me at me at breakneck speed. Kind of like the way I'm driving. But you know what? It happens throughout the game, and I'll go on to that later. Either way, just don't hit the curbs and don't hit other cars because those are hit detection objects, and you can go through and pretty much do whatever you want. I like to pretend that I'm trying to dodge the grannies on the road and just dodge every car I can possibly imagine. And I pretend that I'm flicking them all off even though you can't do it in the game. That'd be an awesome addition, I'm not going to lie. Either way, keep going through the whole game, and he will uh, give you enough insults for you to use on your next bully. Oh, I want to stop right here, too. Did you guys notice this? This little spotlight here for their company? This is not Sierra's NASCAR Racing. Do they really need to put that in there? So whenever you hit the curb or hit another car, this game usually ends, and it says you basically screwed up, or he makes some snarky remark about how your parents better have insurance, even though I don't know if this would even apply to that, considering that you're in the driver's education vehicle, which only has a top speed of about 77 miles an hour. Either here I try to do a, a traffic jam here with a cop if I check behind me and I figured oh he's gonna stop oh oh look at that he's just gonna pull right into me what kind of fucking AI is that what the hell I know it worked before but maybe it doesn't work on turns either way it didn't work Ugh. Now, there is a third person mode for this car, but I, you can't use it in the actual game. The reason for it is probably because this is not what you would ever see in real life, obviously, but they allow it in the practice mode, and since I'm in that, I actually can switch back and forth. I don't use it very much because I think it's funnier to sit inside the cockpit and, and see this steering wheel that flies at the speed of light whenever you try to make a left or right. There is no actual lenience with this. If you go to the left, the wheel goes all the way to the left. If you go to the right, the wheel goes all the way to the right. I believe the reason for this is because you have to use the keyboard, which is the keys, and you obviously there's no this pressure sensitivity, car. so it's just gonna go as fast as it can. 
But the thing is, you can also Just use the mouse. The right. mouse works also for st the steering wheel, but it doesn't have any lenience. Also, you go to the left, the left side of the screen, X coordinate, it just goes, throws it all the way to the left. That's why if you constantly hear squealing tires in this game, it's because I'm careening at a thousand miles an hour and I cannot slow the car down fast enough and make the car turn in an apex of a current corner that would actually make it worthwhile without drifting. It's not a big deal, but it's the same generic sound over and over again. And for some reason, this guy is obsessed to the T with checking your mirrors. Don't even for forget about actual driving for any reason. It's like he has some sort of fetish with seeing himself, but he wants you to check for yourself. The vanity is at an all-time high with this guy. If you don't check your mirrors, this guy totally takes you down and says, you're failing the mission because you didn't check to make sure that you're checking behind you when you should be looking in front of you. I don't like that. I remember at certain points in this game when I was playing it as a kid, I would literally just hold down the insert home and page up keys because those are the ones that actually handle the, the mirrors. And if I wasn't checking them literally every two seconds, the guy would bitch at me and knock me down a few points. There was no point to ever tell when you would actually need to check your mirrors or when not. There are basic rules that they actually had to have in place. Like, yes, if you're changing lanes, check your mirrors. If you got to check your blind spot also. But... They, even, they sometimes you would just be driving down the street and he'll just say, check your mirrors. These, these are examples of it right here. He even bitches at me when we're speeding down the highway going the wrong way to check my mirrors. At what point does this really even matter when we're actually two seconds away from elimination of our life? He, he's impending doom. It's like if this guy, he, if he was fighting a giant dragon in a world of Endor and he tried to slay it, the last thing he's going to say is, check your mirrors. I mean, that might work in, in, in like the mythology of uh, killing Medusa. Because I'm pretty sure that's what Perseus had to do, but this doesn't work here. This is not. This is not ever quit. What does a mirror have to do with anything? If, I mean, he'd probably go to town if he went to the spirit temple in Ocarina of Time, getting that mirror shield. Check your mirrors. Check your mirrors. I, I don't know. He will just keep yelling and yelling at you like a drill sergeant in full metal jacket. And on top of it, it's like almost pointless because he's not even there in the seat next to you. You got this voiceless, active god kind of talking to you for no reason, saying, "Guess what? You're breaking all the rules in our virtual environment." If you are wondering what the name of, of the voice is that's looming over you like God just before the throes of the apocalypse come upon you in this virtual environment, is, he is happily named Driver Ed, as stated in the instruction manual, if I remember correctly. Like I said, I, I think I stole this from the library years ago. But here's the thing. Why do they have him in here in the practice preview mode? It's preview. It's not practice. It's preview. You know, you can do a practice mode in the actual game. There's ones all over it. No different kinds of, of tests and everything like that, but if you're just roaming around free range, why do they even have me here? This is stupid. All in all, I don't really know what the whole point of this whole uh, gameplay footage review, whatever you want to call this is, because I'm sure this is probably like the most boring thing in the world. I don't know why anyone would ever want to watch this. I just figured that there's kind of a lack of... Um, old archive PC game reviews online. I don't know, I could be wrong. But I... I hope that you guys at least enjoyed it a little bit. Got a review of this game that really probably could have used a lot of work and polishing. But again, take it, you know, put it in the context of the year's release, 98. One hell of a year. But you think they could have done a little bit something with this guy's bitch? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just leave you guys out with the, uh, the rest of the insults that I collected from this guy, the gameplay that I played earlier. Get down to the speed limit. Do you know the speed limit? Now always check your mirrors before proceeding. Speed kills! I think we're on the wrong side of the road. Check your speed. You're never gonna get your driver's license like this. Could you get back in your lane? Get down to the speed limit. You look like the sensible type. Red means stop. Use your mirrors. Well, check your mirrors. Get back on the right side of the road. Remember to check your mirrors. You're doing fine. He's back on the gas. I just docked you 30 points for not buckling up. You know, you could have gotten this kill. Now always check your mirrors before proceeding. Don't forget to use your mirrors. Oh, this is looking bad. Hey, this isn't a four-wheeler.